Today we are going to be learning how to make a how-to video. The very first step is to pick a topic for your video. It should be a subject that you are knowledgeable on and one that you think would be useful to someone learning a new skill. Once you have decided on your topic, you must then consider the target audience for your video. For example, a tutorial on tying your shoes would clearly be aimed at a very young audience and would therefore be presented much differently than, say, a tutorial for professional electricians. You must remember to consider both the age and experience level of your audience and adjust your content accordingly. Next, we will start the important process of scripting the video. Many how-to videos are improvised while filming, but this often leads to a lower quality product in the end. To make a successful tutorial, you must establish some semblance of proficiency and professionalism, and the way to accomplish this is through careful planning. Before you write your script, Try to organize everything you want to say into some sort of outline so that you won't forget something important. During the scripting process, it can also be helpful to fill out a storyboard to plan out which shots you will need to film for your video. After you finish the script, you can begin setting up to film. First, you will need a digital camcorder or any camera capable of filming live video. Because the final product will need to be compressed anyway, the video quality of the camcorder is less important but remember that noticeably poor quality will lose your credibility with your audience. Try to avoid cell phone cameras for this reason. Once you have had an adequate camcorder, make sure that the battery is fully charged and the memory card is installed and has enough space to store your project. Once your camcorder is ready, you may begin filming the scenes from your storyboard. Pick a location with good lighting and not too much background noise. A tripod is highly recommended to stabilize your camcorder and improve video quality. To set up the tripod, extend the legs and adjust the height to chest level. Insert the screw at the top of the tripod into the threads on your camcorder and tighten. You are now ready to film your video. Move through your storyboard in order and film each step of the tutorial. You may want to film multiple takes for some shots so that you have more footage to work with later. It is recommended that you narrate your how-to video with a voiceover instead of speaking on camera. To record a voiceover, simply read your script into a microphone like this one and then save your audio file to your computer. When you have finished filming, upload your footage to a computer using a USB cable. Make sure the cable is connected at both ends and then open up your video editing software. Use the upload function in your video editor to transfer the raw footage from your camcorder to the computer. It is now time to begin the editing process. Using your storyboard as a guide, try to piece all of your different scenes together in order. It may be necessary to trim the beginning and end of each scene so that they flow together more smoothly. At this point, you will want to add in the voiceover narration that you recorded earlier and any other music or sound effects that you think will enhance the video. This is also the time to add in title screens and credits at the end of your tutorial. Once you have completely finished editing and polishing your video, it's time to upload it to the internet for the world to learn your unique skill. Thanks for watching.